Well, thank you for coming, and I want to start by thanking all of the people of British Columbia for taking a part in this critically important democratic process. It's what we do in Canada, and it's what we do in British Columbia, and it's the right way to do it. This has been a campaign like no other in the midst of a global pandemic. We had to learn new ways of campaigning and new ways of reaching out to the voters of British Columbia. We had to find ways to keep everyone safe, and all of the parties and parties around the world are learning ways to campaign which do not involve crowds and involve a lot more virtual electronic contact with the people of British Columbia. To all our dedicated and passionate volunteers, I want to say a deep thank you. They've done an exemplary job of getting the story out to the voters of British Columbia who have made their decision. On a moment's notice, with a snap election, volunteers turned out. And that's a critical part of our democracy. And we, of course, have to encourage people to continue to do so, even with all of the COVID uh, epidemic obligations, to put safety first. Our volunteers helped us to present a bold idea of where British Columbia might go, a positive vision for this province. And for all their hard work and determination, I want to thank all those volunteers, for the people who put the names forward for all parties as candidates, we have to thank them because it is critically important for our democracy that people are prepared to engage fully in the democratic process, including standing as candidates. To all of the British Columbians who voted, thank you. It's critical to who we are as a society that people get out and vote, and they have done so, whether it was in an advance poll, whether from a telephone from a long-term care facility, whether by post, or whether in the full election day today. The function of our democracy depends upon full voter engagement, and that is what British Columbians did. We should all be proud of each other for standing by that core function of our democracy. As the results stand tonight, the NDP are clearly ahead, and it appears they will have the opportunity to form government. But with almost half a million mail-in ballots still to be counted, we don't know what the final seat count will be. And we owe it to every voter, every voter, no matter how they express their intention, to await the final results. Elections BC has done an exceptional job of keeping us safe and keeping our democracy intact, and we need to all thank them for the good work. We have to wait for these results because everyone's voice needs to be heard. Now, this has been an unprecedented election in terms of the level of mail-in ballots, and all of those voters have the right to have their vote counted and taken into account. There are a lot of hard-working people at Elections BC, and there will be many, many volunteers putting in many hours over the next three weeks to make sure that every vote is in fact tabulated, counted, and heard. So on top of all my thanks to our campaign volunteers and the voters, I want to thank everyone who's working to deliver that final result. There will be hundreds upon hundreds of people doing long hours, doing fairly repetitive work to make sure our democracy is safe and that every vote is counted. I'm proud to have presented a bold plan on behalf of the BC Liberal Party to move our party into the future, to offer it to voters of British Columbia, and we will see what the final count says. Many people in this province support our vision across BC, and I want to thank them for their support of our party and for their commitment to the democratic process and to the ideas that we put forward in this election. We'll have more to say going forward, but for now, we all have a responsibility to be patient, to respect the democratic process, and to wait the final results. Thank you.